heading, I'm just heading, you're technically with me, we, um, to the Chopin Museum now. I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna be really cool. Speaking of cool, it was supposed to be a lot warmer today and like at least until like later this afternoon when it was gonna get cloudy. And now it's like, it's already kind of cold and cloudy and I'm not thrilled about it. And either way, it's gonna be amazing. So next stop, Chopin Museum. Chopin Museum, um, and FYI, there's a bunch of steps to the entrance, but the ticket office is down here. So, save yourself the steps, buy your ticket before you do them. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm just leaving the museum. Um, to be honest, it was a little underwhelming. A lot of stuff was reproductions, which like, to be fair, he lived in the 1800s. I don't know what I expected. Um, but like, it was a lot of like, interesting information. Um, for example, like he was a childhood star. He wrote his first uh, concerto when he was eight. Um, so that was like cool to hear. Uh, also, he was like shy. So when he did perform, and he only performed like 30 times in his life, he insisted that the rooms he was playing in were like as dark as possible, like ideally just candlelight, a way to like, you know, kind of like zen out and not have, like see the audience. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, he'd never like got married. So again, interesting. He did have a fling with George Sand, who um, was a woman. Uh, I can't remember her actual name. That was like her pen name. She was a writer in Paris. So that was really cool to hear. Like I'd like to like read up a little bit more about that. But overall, I think it was just like hard for it to live up to anything because the Warsaw Uprising Museum I went to yesterday was just so impressive that I think had I done this one first, I probably would have been a bit more like into it. But compared to the one yesterday, it just, it was a different level. Um, I think too, I'm also just kind of tired because I've been up since five. It's now like four in the afternoon. So with that, I'm going to call it my time in Warsaw. I um, originally was hoping to go back to the park I went to the other day to, you know, take more shots of the uh, Chopin, like, fountain there. I thought it would be, like, a cool way to do the video, but to be honest, I am so ready for a nap. So I'm going to go home, take a nap, pack and just grab dinner and call it a night because I have to be up at like 3 30 in the morning to go to the airport and if I'm already tired now I don't want to push through and then really be regretting it in the morning so that's it for Warsaw um I'm so glad I got to spend so much time here and honestly cannot wait to come back there's still so much to see um, if Warsaw's on your list of places to like check out while you're in Europe, definitely come. You won't regret it. The food, the people, everything's been amazing. Cannot recommend it enough. So with that, I will see you in my next video. Like and subscribe for more. Thank you. Jean Foya.